Hi, Brilliant Beings. I'm Dr. Liz Lonetta, and I have a quick and easy way for you to finally make your wishes and dreams become a reality and actually get stuff done. It has a very strange name. It's called the WHOOP method. Uh, and despite its odd name, it's back for over 20 years of research. And what WHOOP stands for is wish, outcome, obstacle, and plan. And I like to turn the whoop into a whoopee in order to make it more efficient and more effective for you. So don't worry, I'll guide you step by step so you can finally make your smallest or biggest wishes a reality. Are you ready to be whooped into shape? Let's begin. I welcome you to get into a comfortable position and allow your eyelids to gently close, if that's right for you. Taking a moment to paint the mental landscape of your body and mind. Tuning in to your soothing breath, your strong body. This is breathing. This is being. And together, I'll guide you step by step the WHOOP method to get your body and mind in sync to manifest your wishes and to give you that laser focus. The first step in WHOOP is to welcome a wish. For example, I wish to meditate five days out of the week in the morning outside because I want to nourish my body and mind with stillness and serenity. So with this example, go ahead and ask yourself, go inward, what do you want to achieve? Go ahead and pick a realistic goal. It should be something slightly challenging and achievable and try to make it specific and action oriented. It also helps to make it measurable. Like how often will you do it in a week? Where and when you will do it? Also think about your why. Why is this important for you to do? So I invite you to sit with your wish and your why and feel it in your body and mind. And so the next step in WHOOP is identifying an outcome. For example, my outcome would be, I see and feel a blissful smile on my face, sitting outside on my sunny porch, and I can feel the rays of sun, a lightness to my body, and a lightness to my mind, and this sense of rejuvenation and peace after completing my meditation. And for you, how will it feel when you accomplish this wish? And what is the concrete outcome? See it happening as you walk through the various steps. And now use as many of your senses to feel as if you are accomplishing the goal right here, right now. What are you seeing around you? Are there other people involved in this wish, or is it just yourself? I wonder, are you touching or holding anything? And most importantly, what emotion do you feel? Perhaps happiness, or peace, maybe relief, or maybe even pride. And now, where in your body do you feel that achievement of accomplishing that wish of yours? Allow some time to soak in this experience.
And now the second O is naming the obstacles that get in your way. For example, maybe some of my obstacles are going on social media and death scrolling, or being in a hurry, or maybe I'm just too tired to meditate in the mornings. It ultimately comes down to my procrastination and self-discipline. So let's go ahead and get in contact with your internal obstacles. How do you get in the way of your wish? Really looking in, honestly, what is the biggest obstacle that gets in your way of your wish? Of course, it's natural to think of external factors like the weather or the timing, but I invite you to identify the biggest internal obstacles within you because those have the power to shift or change. And I welcome you to be as honest as you can with yourself. Very good. And remember, to name it, tames it. So now we have an awareness of how we are getting in our own way. And that's perfectly okay. We can overcome that with the next step in WHOOP, which is P. The P in WHOOP stands for plan. So now it's time to create an action plan with a simple phrase. If this obstacle comes up, then I will do a certain nourishing action. So go ahead and fill in the blanks. For example, if I feel an urge to go on social media first thing in the morning, I will take a mindful breath, exhale that urge, and then meditate instead. Or if I'm rushed in the morning, then I'll take a breath, slow down, and meditate, even if it's just for one minute. So go ahead and spend some time. I welcome you to go through your action plans. Your, if that obstacle comes up, then I will do what action? Remember, you have all the answers within you. You just need to listen to hear them. And now to take it up a notch, I always like to add in an extra step or I to make the whoop into a whoop be. This I stands for imagine. So go ahead and imagine the first step you can take today, right after this session, to make your wish become a reality. Really see yourself using one of your action plans, going through those activities, dodging all those obstacles with effortless ease. Really tuning into and noticing how you feel overcoming your obstacles. Perhaps it wasn't as bad as you expected. Maybe there's even a sense of relief or surprise that you can get it done quicker than you thought. So go ahead and sit and imagine effortlessly overcoming an obstacle tomorrow or maybe even today. And there you have it. Great job using the WHOOP method today. I wonder if there is more energy and motivation to make your wish true now. 
If you're feeling silly or you need even more energy to get this stuff done, feel free to say whoop or whoopee when you're ready to take the first step towards your goal. I also welcome you to write down your experiences, especially your creative action plans, so you can help your dreams become a reality as soon as you're willing and able to. And whenever you're ready, at your own pace and time, you can gently open your eyes, stretch your body back into this present moment, maybe wiggling your hands and toes, and noticing how you feel right here, right now. May this method bring you focus, clarity, and confidence to effortlessly achieve your dreams. Welcome back from your inward adventure. What you experience? Hopefully you whooped yourself into shape and you're filled with inspiration to go do that thing. So feel free to, as soon as this is over, write down your action plan because research indicates that when you write something down, like physically, pen and paper, write something down, you're more likely to one, remember it, and two, actually do it. So feel free to like and comment on your experiences and share with others if they need it most to really get some stuff done. Until next time, take care.